Hey everyone, JJ here. In today's video, I'll be going over the optimal trade entry and how to use it. So, what is the optimal trade entry, right? So, the optimal trade entry is actually first. I want to give you my fib settings for the optimal trade entry. This is first. Let's do this first, first, first. Okay. Optimal trade entry. Okay. Trend line on. It's this color. Dash, I mean dotted, but yeah, dashed line. Second, extend lines, extend lines to the right. Zero is this color. Zero point six one eight. This color, minus one. This color, zero point five. This color, zero point seventy nine. This color code. 0 0.705 this color minus 0 0.72 this color minus again that color and then one this color then prices and levels are on okay I think you guys got it now just scroll down a little bit more so you can copy it again Okay, you guys got it? I think you guys got it. So the optimal trade entry, how, how can I explain this, right, and not make it too confusing for you guys? So the optimal trade entry, right, it's like, it's not an order block, but it's, it's not an order block, but it's similar, okay? So it's a fib drawn from a swing high to a swing low, and then price will touch the entry levels on the fib and then that's where you enter long, right? So, and one thing with the optimal trade entry, if the run that creates the optimal trade entry is bearish, you don't want you would want to draw the fib from the low to the high, and if it was bullish, you would want to draw it from the high to the low. Okay, so this recent swing high to this low. I actually did it incorrectly when I just said how to do it. Draw from the low to that high and boom there it is it didn't well it did right here it went down into it here on this candle and then went up see it did it and then it created relative equal lows here and then it went up and then it went up and then it went up a little bit <laughs> I'll be going over multiple examples of how the upload trade entry works so let's go here I see one right here. So you want to get the low and the high. I did it incorrectly again. <laughs> uh, so here on this green candle, it went up into the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.705 level. You can enter at any one of these levels. You don't have to be greedy and get the highest one. What I recommend is enter at the first one, which is the 0 0.618 level. It touches it and boom, it goes down. And then it goes down, and then down, and then down even more. <laughs> okay? So that's what that is. Okay? So it's not like in a, mar a breaking market structure. It's not you want to get the most reason high. You want to get a high, not a swing high. This would be a swing high, but I, I hope you guys get understand what I'm saying. Like here. This is a swing low, but I would consider it a low because you know it's not like a swing low is created here. It's a low, like it's spot on. It's there. It's in your face. <coughs> That's what I mean. You can still draw from here, but it that just wouldn't make any sense. You want to draw from here to here. I'll go over multiple examples so you can see how to do it, and you can train, and I can train your eye to be able to see it, right? So you wouldn't want to draw from this low to this swing high. That wouldn't make any sense. You want to draw it from this low to this high. Not swing low, swing high. Low to high. Okay? The swing is gone. Because the swing are something like this. Like where it creates this tiny high and then falls. This is a low and this is a high. This is a swing high. Okay? Draw from the low to the high. If the run that creates optimal trade injury is bearish, you want to drop from the low to the high. And 
it'll later come back and get this, but I don't think it did it just then. Yeah, it didn't do it. I wonder if it actually. T nope. <laughs> yeah. So if these, if it doesn't touch the optimal trading tree within a day, from what I've been seeing from the optimal trading tree and how it works, if it doesn't touch the optimal trading tree within that day it's created, then it's it's not there anymore. It's gone. Okay. But the blocks they have no no time limit or they have no like durability or some sort. Of Right, so here another optimal trade entry. We want to get this. We want to get this swing high or this high. We want to get the low and the high. This run is bearish, so did it ever touch it? Nope. Did it touch it within that day? Nope. So that means it is in battle. Another thing you have to be careful of with the optimal trade entry is when. So when a let's let's find an example so I can show you this and not tell it to you. I want to show you it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I might do it here. I just want to show you something. Can okay, may I show you something? Okay. So it didn't do it in this same day. Well, actually, it did. It did it right here. But here, right? It went into the entry. Right. That's the first step. It went into the entry level. And then, these will, any of these targets will be your target. So you got the zero, the minus zero point twenty seven, minus zero point seventy two, well sixty two, and then minus one. Those are four targets. If it touches at least one of these targets, the optimal trade entry is no longer invalid. It's only actually let me say that better. It's only invalid once it takes out a target and then goes back into the zero level and the one level once it goes in between this area so once it touches one of these targets then goes back up into it it's now invalid it's gone okay it is gone we have another one draw it from the low to the high did it do it it sure did right here in this area Right, so I know this might look confusing, or it might look and sound confusing as well. I'm about to, how, I'm about to, how I am about to explain it. So here, right, the optimal trade entry is created, but it's not triggered. Once it goes, so the bullish optimal trade entry, once it goes above the entry levels and then comes back down into them, it's it's valid. Well, it's valid when it's created, then it goes above it. That's when it's triggered. That's when it's active. And then it's triggered once price goes into the entry levels. So here it went above the entry level levels and then it went back into them. That's your trigger. Or that's your entry. And boom. Up. Up we go. Okay, so let, let's just see this, right? So I already know that they have a time limit. And we know that once they touch one target and come back into the range between the one and the zero level that the optimal trade entry is invalid. Let's see if it actually proves this or not. Yep. See. It, it ran through it, see? Do you see it? I think you see it. I think you see it. <clears throat> Uh-oh. An old SMC, SMT drawing from days ago. <laughs> that is funny. So here you want to get the low. I drew it incorrect. The high to the low because this is a bullish run. So if it's a bearish optimal trade entry, you would want to see price go below the op optimal trade entry levels and then go back into them. So once it goes below the entry levels, the optimal trade entry is now active. And once it goes into it, that's when you in, enter short or long. And in this case, it'll be short because, yeah, I don't have to say anything else. It, it, yeah, the, the charts are just saying everything. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> and it took out all targets. Ain't, ain't that pretty cool? One, two, three, four. Wow. I wonder, does it go through it? 
does it go through it? Let's see. Nope. It doesn't. Let's see. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I am getting sidetracked. I'll do two more examples. Just two. I think I think two would be good. Yeah, I think two would be good for you guys. I did it incorrect. <laughs> Low to the high. And well, pop. It go into the levels right here in this green candle. Still does a little bit more, and then boing, boing, it just bounces up into one target. Well, actually, yeah, one target. Just one. One more example. One more. All right. So here we want to get. I grab the box. We don't want the box. We want the low to the high. See? It went below the entry levels because this is a bearish optimal trade entry. It went below the entry levels and then went back into them so you can enter short. And. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. Okay. That, that's all you need to see. This right here, that's all you need to see. That's literally, literally all you need to see. What? I'll be ending this video here. If you guys have any questions or comments about the optimal trade entry, put them in the comment section below. And that'll be it for this video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.